if you're a complete beginner with no video editing skill, Flicky.ai could be the tool for you. It will save you a lot of time, that's the main point. But enough talking for the moment, let's create a video. We start with the generation of our script. For this, I'm going to use TextCortex.ai. It's a AI writing tool very similar to ChatGPT. That's the main page and ZenoChat, which we are going to use today. You see, it really looks like the ChatGPT interface. Now I'm going to ask TextCortex to help me find subject for a video, like fun facts about Paris or fun fact about Hawaiian pizza. Be specific with your query. Me, I just end up asking him, write a YouTube script about five fun facts of Hawaiian pizza. And you see, boom, I got an answer. So now we have our script. Let's go on flicky.ai to make the video. This is the home page of flicky.ai. To create a video, click on new file. Write your title and select your format. Every major format is supported, like one on one for Instagram story, 9 on 16 for short video, and 16 on 9 for long format. In the box Start With, choose Empty File as you already have your script. Then just copy past your text from Text Cortex. The text will be split between boxes. Each box will be a different scene in your video. So reorganize the text as you wish. You can choose to add more scene or split an existing one. It's up to you. Just be aware that you have a limit of 10 scenes on the free version. Here is my video structure after I finished organizing my text. I ended up with only two fun facts to respect the limit number of scenes, but I will be fine for the video. Now it's time to choose the voiceover of my video. If I click on voiceover, I open a menu where I can choose a voice amongst a lot of different options. A great point for Flicky.ai is that it even offers a lot of foreign language, which is pretty rare nowadays. In the paid version, you can also choose the emotion of the voice, like cheerful, angry, or sad. Me, I will just go with the default voice of Monica because I'm using the free version. If you want to change all the scene at once, don't forget to select apply to all the voiceover. But you can also choose to use different voices for different scenes, it's up to you. Now the voice of Monica is applied to all my video. It's time to pick a background music by clicking on the first box on the left. Like the voices, Flicky offers you a number of options for your background music, all free of copyright. You can also upload the music of your choice if you prefer. However, be careful of any copyright issue if you intend to use the video on social media. I'm going to choose this song and go on with the building of the video. Now we are going to pick footage for every scene of our video. So in each box, click on layout. You will open a menu where you can choose a video footage from the Flicky library. Like the music, you can also upload your own video for a specific scene. For my first scene about Hawaiian pizza being a divisive topic, I'm going to choose people arguing with each other. I can search the library and choose the footage I like. Be aware that unfortunately, a lot of footage will be locked in the free version, but that's the price to pay, no pun intended. For the second scene, I will go with someone eating a pizza that's easy. So now, what can you do if you don't find any footage you like for your video? Well, you can use other websites like pixels.com or pixabay.com, which are great choice for photo or video footage. Or you can use a very cool feature of Flicky, the art generation. For example, for the scene about Hawaiian pizza into the space, I can't find any astronaut eating a pizza. So I'm going to click on generate and ask Flicky.ai to generate an image of an astronaut eating a pizza. I can choose amongst different styles, and after a few seconds, boom, I got my astronaut. Now I'm going to complete the other scenes and go on with my video. Okay, I have fast forward a bit and complete every scene of my video. If I need, I can preview each scene by clicking play in the scene box. It will give me an idea of the result. Pizza has been a divisive topic among pizza purists for years. You can customize the text shown in the video. 
By clicking on the voiceover box, a menu opens on the right with different possibilities of customization. You can change the font, the color or the size of the text. And you can also choose some animation for the text to appear or disappear. Don't forget to click on Apply to all similar layers if you want to change everything at once. Myself, I went with most of the default settings, so you can have an idea of the result. So now everything is done, the video is ready, I can click on Download and ask Flicky.ai to export my video. It takes between 1 and 2 minutes, and then my video is ready, and we can enjoy the result. The Hawaiian pizza has been a divisive topic among pizza purists for years. But it remains a popular pizza choice among many people. Here are two facts you may not know about the pineapple pizza. Hawaiian pizza was actually invented in Canada. In 1962, Sam Panopoulos decided to add pineapple to a pizza. He named it after the brand of canned pineapple he used, and the Hawaiian pizza was born. Did you know that Hawaiian pizza already went to space? In 2001, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield requested Hawaiian pizza while on a mission in space. The pizza ingredients were sent up in dehydrated form and prepared on the space station kitchen. And you, how do you feel about Hawaiian pizza? Let us know in the comment. Thanks for watching.